We've done it. We've got Tom Youngs to secure a new contract on a two-year term. The news has been greeted with some concern by Barna supporters, with some of them unsure if the player really deserved a new contract at this point. Bruv, are you done? Yeah, no, no, no. He's, he's only scored 30 goals this season. He's only only scored 18 the previous year. No, 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 you're right. He, he clearly didn't deserve a new contract. Oh my fucking God, man. Jesus Christ. Run the intro. So this episode is just going to be a final game of the season because we have the opportunity to be the champions of League 2. If we can better Shrewsbury result, then I suppose effectively it would be us champions. Depends on how much they lose by. Basically we have to win. That That's a long short of it. We have to win. Hope that Shrewsbury can mess up. They take on Newport County who are in 10th place. So there's a chance. There's a very, very slim chance we can do it. This game will, as I said, let's literally be a quick game, see whether or not we can do it, and then I'll show you kind of our plans and who's done well and who hasn't done well throughout the rest of the season. So let's get to the point of the game day and see how we get on against Northampton. These are the two team lineups for today's game. If you want to pause and have a look, please do so. Now, last time we played Northampton, we got absolutely smashed at their place. It was a really, really embarrassing defeat. Not going to dwell too much on that. As I said, we just need to concentrate on the game at the bottom here. Newport against Shrewsbury and get ourselves a win. Let's see how we do. Into the feet of Rose. Plays it through to Diaf. Plays it through to Quigley. Jones can't mark him. And there's Quigley to score again. Jones, seriously. Quigley again. Is history repeating itself? What a poor start. I don't even want to watch the highlight. Skip it. Why can we not seem to beat Northampton? Of all teams, Bloomin' Northampton. Whitmore to De Mayo. Out to Bywater on the right-hand side. Needs to put a ball into the box or do something. Plays it to Sean Bat. Can he play it through to Tom Youngs? Oh, just wide. Ramsey with a long ball up. White clears it only as far as Morgos. Plays it through to Sean Bat. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Goal! 1-1. One -one. We've got the reply we want. Get in. Long ball up the field and Sean Back gets it under his control. First time finish into the top right hand corner. 1-1 one, one here at the Hive. 0-0 nil, nil at Newport County against Shrewsbury. So it's as things were at the beginning of the game. Shrewsbury have just taken a 1-0 lead. So despite whatever happens in this game, we cannot finish as champions as things stand. Just going to say, unlucky boys, haven't, things haven't been going well for us. Just the one substitution at half time. Cameron Park's going to come on for Kieran Bywater. Other than that, we're leaving it as it is. Going up, up, up. Going up, up, up. Going up, up, up. Morgos with the corner in. Jones. Oh, somehow hasn't gone in. Rose with the corner in. Headed clear. Can Morgos get the flick on? He does. Tom Youngs has got plenty of space to run into now. He's got support up on the left if he can get there. I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> John Akinde for Tom Youngs. Let's get him as a target man. Sean Bat as the advanced playmaker. And let's go route one. Even if we do somehow manage to get a winner, we've still got to have Newport getting a goal against Shrewsbury. I don't think it's going to happen. No, there it is. Shrewsbury have their second goal. Unfortunately, even with a win, we're going to finish in second place. Full time, 1-1, Shrewsbury get the win that they need, so they finish off as champions. Congratulations to them, for us, just wasn't meant to be, but we finish in second place. So let's now go to the point of a squad review and find out how some of the individual players have done. So they're given £10,000 for finishing in second place in Skybet League 2. Doesn't even break the surface of the debt that we need to try and eradicate in the summer. In terms of our overall stats and in terms of appearances, the main man was Charlie Horton in goal. Had a fantastic season. Has progressed quite nicely, actually. His stats have risen. Is only going to get better. Followed in by Tom Youngs, Louis Ramsey, the right back, Kieran Bywater, Elliot Johnson and Bria Dembele. Dembele is actually already joining a club when his contract runs out. We tried to give him a new deal, but he wants to move back to France. Fair play to him. Wish him all the best. He's been a great player to me during the time at Barnet. In terms of goals scored, Tom Youngs easily clears away with 30 goals. 
Sean Back, John Akinde and Ryan Loft are all up there as well. And then some of the goals have been spread around sort of here and there. One of the players who has got himself for quite a few goals is Jarrell Sellers. In terms of the number of assists, Andy, top assist with 14, has been fantastic this season. Really, really has. Then followed by Kieran Bywater, Tom Youngs and Sean Bat. A couple of others on 7s and 6s. Player of the match performances, yeah, was always going to go to Tom Youngs. Mark Randall and Savas up there as well with 5 and 4. In terms of a pass completion ratio, Connor DeMeo has got the best pass completion ratio for the club at 82%. Congratulations to him. In terms of yellow cards, that award goes to George Glendon. Well done. Congratulations. In terms of red card, only the one red card this season. And again, that went to George himself. In terms of an average rating, Savas and Mark Randall were top 7.45 and 7.37, or 7.47 and 7.37 respectively rather. Sean Back, John Akinde, Tom Youngs, Ryan Loft, all of the big hitters at the top there. In terms of the competitions then, this is a summary of the season that's happened. Obviously the league we know about, we've finished in second place. Fantastic season. We've managed to get promotion at the second time of asking. The players have been amazing. In terms of the cup competitions, we've got knocked down the second round of the FA Cup, first round of the Capital One Cup and the second round of the St Johnson's Paint Trophy. I think ultimately having less fixtures added to our success. The players just had one sole aim to focus on, and that was the league itself. In terms of Sky Bet League 2, Tom Youngs finished uh, joint top goal scorer with Jay Simpson with 30 goals. Both players did absolutely amazingly. Andy finished third with his assists in the league. He got 12. And this is how the final league table has finished. We finished second. Shrewsbury and AFC Wimbledon go up with us. In terms of the playoffs, it's contested or going to be contested between Carlisle, Notts County, Mansfield and Leighton Orient. They scraped in by three goals. Bristol Rovers sadly miss out. In terms of relegation, it's Northampton and Blackpool who go down. Blackpool, back-to-back -back relegations, a really poor campaign for them. In terms of League One, then the two teams that have gone up are Bolting and Nottingham Forest. So we won't be playing those guys next year, but you can have a little bit of a look to see who we are going to be playing against. Luton, Swindon, York and Berry all going down. So Luton and York couldn't hack it this season. I actually think promotion would have been a disaster for us this year. I think we would have been relegated with the squad that we had last year. We're now in a far better position to be able to try and compete in League One. In terms of who's coming down then, well, it's Ipswich. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Uh, Birmingham and Preston. Oh, I'm going to be bringing you some Ipswich games live on the channel, definitely. Ipswich versus Barnet. I mean, they're three big teams. Ipswich, Birmingham and Preston all going down. So that means there's going to be some really tough teams in our league. But expect plenty of revenue coming in from attendances. That's only going to help the club progress. And in terms of the Premier League season, well, that hasn't quite finished yet. But my team, Norwich, are in the relegation zone. Arsenal currently leading the way. With a couple of games to go. What I'm just doing at the moment is I'm just trying to get a bit of an idea as to who's going to be in my squad and who isn't for next year. Literally, the pe the people that you see in the first team squad at the moment, um, Benjamin Seacrest, Connor, Savas, Jarrell and Tom Youngs are the only ones I actually feel confident enough being in my team for next year. I've got all the people who are sitting there currently on the bench that I think will be okay in terms of a squad player so I think we need to get another defensive midfielder and that's probably about it in terms of a substitute bench but we need a new striker a new winger and a complete new back four I want to completely rip that defense apart and have these guys as the backup players in terms of the people who are outside of the squad these are the people that I'm going to try and move on during the summer unfortunately for somebody like George I haven't really been massively impressed with him this year he's done okay but he's not been fantastic. Connor has really stepped up to the plate in terms of you know pro, you know pro, progression this year. Andy again, who's had a decent season, but I'm not overly convinced by him. I'm trying to try and move him on. Sam Muggleton, Dembele's obviously going. James Pearson hasn't done much this year. Sam was only brought in as a backup, so he's going to be going. The two youngsters I'm going to try and loan out, and Ryan Loft, I think I'm going to try and loan him out again. Not massively convinced, although. He could quite easily play up top against, you know, with Tom Youngs. He was progressing quite well until that nasty injury. So he's the only question mark, really, I have from that. 
but that will bring Barnet Bound to a close for this season. We've done it. We've got promotion. That is all that can be asked of us. What an amazing achievement. It really has been absolutely fantastic. I want to thank every single one of you who has watched the series up until this point. You guys are absolutely amazing. What we're going to do now in terms of moving forward is I want to try and get through these seasons not as quickly as possible, but there's not really much to kind of bring you because FM's slowing down overall as a whole now. So I want to be bringing you short episodes with quick updates. Probably going to go sort of like eight or nine games in at a time and really try and progress through each season as we can. Obviously, the aim for next year for us is just survival. If we can finish anywhere above the four places that go down, that's the ultimate aim and ultimate, you know, that, that that's all we can hope for from next year, realistically. We, we need to try and cement our place in League One if we possibly can. It's going to be tough, but I'm sure we can do it. As always on the channel, though, if you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, adios.